It's becoming popular across the Commonwealth, but beware, some versions are illegal. THC seltzers are popping up at bottle shops and bars as alternatives to drinking alcohol. Raven Brown had a chance to speak with those selling it and breaks down what's legal and what's not. I think it's going to be like the, the next thing in the, in the restaurant and bar industry. Matt Hansen is talking about this. It's a THC seltzer drink and they're becoming more popular across the state and country. We call it like the, the nacho effect. Like if you bring out a plate of nachos, like 10 tables are going to order some nachos. Well, we've had a couple nights where people realized what it was and then it spread like wildfire and then like we blew through a couple cases. Hansen owns the camel and launched the Buzzenberry by Pure Shenandoah two weeks ago. It's low dose, meaning the state's less than 0.3% THC by dry weight rule. The laws and the rules were changed last July and the guidelines we were given were a little bit vague, um, but op we opted to play it safe and just go with the lower dose. Lewis Seidel also sells it at point five, a non-alcohol bottle shop in Carytown. He says THC seltzers are becoming one of the more popular options and it hurt their bottom line when they had to pull the higher doses from the shelves. Originally we stopped carrying it for a little while just because we weren't quite sure where the law was going and it did impact us as a small business. Um, I mean, I don't have a percentage, but 30, 40% definitely right off the top gone. The state law updated last year. It's illegal to sell in the state if you meet a certain threshold. However, if you try to buy it online, some sellers websites block you from shipping a higher dose to a Richmond address, but others don't, making the seller not compliant with the law. A package cannot have more than two milligrams total THC and if it does, then it would have to contain uh, 25 times uh, as much CBD. J.M. Padini, executive director of Virginia Normal, says while THC and CBD options are becoming more popular, you should always do your research. While a number of THC infused products are available on shelves throughout the Commonwealth, that very much remains a buyer beware marketplace. These products are not in any way subject to the same stringent consumer safety standards that medical cannabis is in Virginia. In Richmond, Raven Brown 12 on your side. Taking another live look at